Dow Chemical moved to its Estuary Road facility in 1957 and 58 years later we're still going strong. We have around 100 people working on site in two manufacturing facilities. One making the familiar styrofoam insulation board which goes into buildings, refrigerated trucks and the like all over Britain. The other manufacturing crop protection products which go all around the world and help the farming industry increase their yields thus feeding the ever increasing world population. We've been nominated for the Contribution for the Community Award because of our community outreach programme. Or put another way, us giving something back to our local community. We focus on three main areas. Firstly, the environment and our partnership with the Norfolk Wildlife Trust. Secondly, our work with disabled children on our support of the Mini Kandu Club and Adaptive Sports Day. And last but not least, our work with the local schools to encourage children into the area of STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The team at Dow Chemical are immensely proud of the work we do with the local community, particularly the positive impact we have with some of the children we work with. If we were fortunate enough to win this award, it would drive us forward to achieve even greater things in 2015. When we first opened our doors, it was as the Kings Lynn Building Society in 1967. We went on to merge with the Peterborough and then the Norwich Building Society in 1968, becoming Norwich and Peterborough. Fantastic merger for us was in 2011 when we became part of the Yorkshire Building Society group. The reason why I say it's fantastic is because they've got the same values and principles as us. We're a society built on trust and we've got our customers at the heart of everything we do. Throughout the year we've supported many local charities, some large, some small, either in the form of a grant or we've actually given up our own time and gone and helped them in their workplace. One of the most successful events that we held was called Charity Choices in the Summer. It's where we asked the local community to decide which charity they would like to receive a grant funding. It was an incredible success with over 1,700 votes. If we were to win this award, it would mean everything to me and to my team and to Norwich and Peterborough as a whole. We've been so passionate to make as much of a difference to as many charities as we could, local charities, throughout 2014. To win the award, we would just want to step up and do even more throughout 2015. The site has been here in Kings Lynn since the 1960s when it was Baxter's Butchers. Over the years it has changed hands and in 1999 we became Tulip. Here at Kings Lynn we employ just over 530 people. We produce sliced cooked meats like ham, chicken, pork lunch tongue. Over the past 12 months we have been raising monies for two charities, the Make-A-Wish Foundation and more locally the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. 2014 saw us implementing a scheme called the Movement to Work. This was to help the young unemployed individuals of Kings Lynn to get back into employment. We also sponsored a community project where we transformed the Perfleet Trust outside area into a more user-friendly space for their clients. Our support over the past few years has also helped our local rugby team towards their kits and travel costs to matches. To win this award would be a great achievement for Tulip, to be recognised for who we are and what we do in the local community. We want our employees to be proud to say they work here and be part of the Tulip team. Mm -hmm.